Recently I bought these earpods, $8, China. Students, we don't have a lot of money. Everything we do is on a budget. Right now, I'm psyching myself up to go food shopping. Uh, it's currently way too hot for me to even attempt to go outside. Too white. Am I red? What the f- Am I sunburnt? <laughs> okay, so the way this video is gonna work is that I'm gonna be showing you and acting out weird things that university students have done, have do, you know, that I think people have done. Coming from my own experience, my friend's experiences and everything like that. And if you have done even one of these things, you have to drop a like on the video. If you are new around here, subscribe down below. And if this gets 600 likes, I'll get a haircut. But I'm sure most of you have done these things, especially the last thing. The last thing on this list involves hooking up in random places. And just wait and see to the end of this video to see that because that is pretty, my room is like 40 degrees. So if I'm sweating, that's. Moving on to the first of 10 weird things that students do. Let's head into the bathroom. So I'm gonna assume Especially in the UK, rooms, student rooms come with a basin and a bed, essentially. And there's normally toilets right outside the door. Right outside here. We're gonna wash. That's it, yeah, all good. Right, and now I don't have to go outside to use the toilet because I just went there. Weird thing that most people do, use the basin as a toilet. This video is already gonna have like hundreds of likes now because every boy at university has done that. So, I actually need some Nutella right now and I don't have any but there's this huge problem in the fridge. So. All jokes aside, the second weird thing that students seem to do is just steal food and sauce from their friends. I walk into this kitchen yesterday and on the side I see this and it's, be it's being used and I think that's my butter and I'm not the one using it but it's out and emptier and then I walk in a bit further and the guy's here and he's, he's just used my butter and I'm like he didn't even ask but I don't even care, I didn't say anything. I have my butter next time, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just fair. Another weird thing in the kitchen that university students do, number three, is basically just eat undercooked food in the sense that if you cook something and it doesn't quite finish cooking, but you've already turned everything off, you're probably gonna more likely take the risk of uh, salmonella than having to do more washing up and all stuff like that. I mean, might as well just get the food poisoning, you know, you know what I mean? Another strange thing that university students do, especially at first year in accommodation, is take risky, naked bathroom trips. You're semi-naked. It's late at night, the bathroom's around the corner. Instead of putting on clothes, I reckon students just kind of risk it. Run around the corner a bit naked and try and use the bathroom without being seen by flatmates. And, I mean, normal. Absolutely normal. Kind of is, I guess, at university. The amount of times I saw naked stuff happen at university. <laughs> you know when your food cupboard is very low, like mine is right now, a strange thing, a very strange thing that us university students do is just starve ourselves. Yeah, if we have no money or we have no food in our fridge, then we just won't eat. That is not healthy, that is strange. Students always watch lectures back on about three times the speed. And thinking about it like that, when you watch lectures back, this is how you watch them. Bit of this, bit of this, three times the speed, skip a bit make a few notes, don't really pay attention, can't understand what the lecturer is saying because of the accent, but because of his bad accent, the logic is to speed up the lecture capture to make it even, even harder to understand what the lecturer is saying. It's a bit weird. Yeah, I know I do it, fuck that. Fuck spending an hour watching an hour lecture, I want to spend 20 minutes doing that. And even then I don't pay attention. All I want is for my lecturer to have an understandable accent. Is that really too much to ask? Guess this poster. See that hedge? No, I cut that. That was me. I've got a bit of a part-time job here doing some gardening at the moment because YouTube just doesn't pay the bills. Facts.
Have you ever gone shopping with a student to a supermarket before? No? Five kilograms of pasta, two kilograms of cheese, home time. Easy as that. Yep, I have some of these. Being healthy is expensive. Um, hate, yeah. I hate vlogging in public. I feel so, I feel so like, I don't know, weird right now. I don't know, I'm just firm, just firm, just, just hold it, just hold it. Chocolate chip. Mm. All right, I basically need two hands now, so see you at the end of this. What the hell, pepper? This is a pepper, isn't it? Pepper. I can't even do this, I need help. Uh, in here called Capsicum. Good, good old shopping. Good old. Have, you, have you ever been in a YouTube video before? No, never. This is my first time, bro. First time? Yeah. This video is weird things that university students do. It's so, like weird stuff that happens. And I said like, walking around like naked when you're like, you know, weird stuff like that. And like people just hooking up in random places. Yeah. Like people like making out in like the music oh. rooms. It can be, you know what I mean? True, true. <laughs> is that it's, true? It's like pretty weird, like especially for the Asian people, but for you guys it's normal. I think it's yeah. normal. Yeah. Okay, bus station, right? Like, yeah, train bus station, station oh everywhere. My God, everywhere. Students so. just hook up everywhere. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've been here like more than one year, so almost like one year and a half. So it's for me, it's like. Yeah, yeah, I used to it. Yeah, I used to it. Right? Used to it. It's like, right. oh, it's like first true. time I was like, oh, why, 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 make out anywhere they just yeah. do anything anywhere yeah. i was going to go to qmb and show you the music rooms where supposedly people make out a lot but <laughs> i'll just hey, put is that illegal? <laughs> is that illegal they have rooms upstairs but they just choose to like yeah. make out downstairs i don't know but um yeah, yeah i'll put a picture of that on screen now mm -hmm. that's what it is yeah but danny tell everyone to like subscribe yeah, like subscribe. Subscribe here, downstairs. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's it. Down below. Down below. Down below. Down below. Down below. Down below. Enjoy these clips from uh, my New Zealand trip. Leave a like on the video. I know you've done this stuff. Today, we are climbing a glacier. Facts. The best type of breakfast the next morning. Yeah. And for the people in the UK, you know how Domino's is always so good the day after? Basically, in Australia and New Zealand, it's just not the same. The pizza Jackson has is honestly amazing. Shit, it looks like we're driving straight into the clouds. What? This is the colour I imagine water to be in heaven. So here's the glacier that we're going to be climbing up today. I am, I am very excited. I've never done something like this before and I'm pretty sure we take a helicopter flight up to somewhere up there, I assume. And that is where we get trained up and start the climb. Oh, almost stacked over this cone, Jesus. And there'll probably be a group of four of us, me and Jackson, plus two others. I don't think the camera can quite pick up how blue it actually is. So we did actually end up getting the helicopter up. We've just had our training climb. And um, pretty much these are my glasses, these are borrowed. But that glacier over there is the one we're gonna be hiking next. You can see our instructor setting it up. You know what, it is pretty scary, I won't lie. Don't lie. Mine's our German friend up there. Good job, get the picture done. Those are his, he's got that oh. sort of stuff. It's so bright, I need my sunglasses. Yeah, it is very bright up here. And apparently they said all this um, ice will be, the glacier will be gone in 60 years. Is that what they said? That's what they said. And it goes all the stretches all the way up there. Yeah. Just, just, just a tiny bit worried to do this one. Just a tiny bit. That is a big one. That is a big one. This whole day, Reminds me of that one Modern Warfare 2 or 3 mission where you climb up the iceberg at the start of it.
Make sure if you are new around here, you like and subscribe. New Zealand adventure number number five, I think this is. All right, so it's my time to go and climb this glacier. Hopefully it goes well. Nothing for the same, nothing for the same 